you know, you have Biden blundering and You know, it's, uh, it, it, it can be very, very sad watching some of the stuff that goes on. Um, you know, you hear, like, people are always talking about and, you know, wondering, like, you know, about, you know, oh, you know, f uh, presidential elections in the future and all this stuff. People are really concerned about who's next to run the country because no one really knows who the hell's running the country right now. <laughs> So he, but he comes into office, and what is one of the first things he does? He wages war on American domestic energy production. Well, that's not smart, and so you're obviously paying more for everything. Natural gas has spiked. They're now having to beg Maduro from Venezuela, or they're begging OPEC and all this other stuff. Uh, you know, the Saudis cut production. And a lot of people were saying, well, that may have been politically timed for the midterms because they don't like Biden. And I'm like, yeah, it probably was. They don't like him. I mean, he's playing footsie with Iran. That's their enemy. And so, but here's the thing. If we were energy independent like we were when he took office, it wouldn't matter what the Saudis did. So he's putting us in this position. Now, in Florida, I think we're the seventh lowest uh, gas prices in the country because actually we put a gas ho tax holiday in for October, so. So they do the energy, which is really problematic. Then what do they do? They spend and print and borrow trillions and trillions of dollars. And it was people were telling them, even like liberal economists, wait a minute, you're going to spark inflation if you do this. And they said, damn the torpedoes, we're going full speed ahead, and we're going to add trillions of dollars uh, in, in new money and borrowing. And the result, predictably, has been the worst inflation that we see in four decades in this country. And it hasn't slowed down. They said, initially, you're not going to have inflation. They said, well, it'll be a blip. Then they said, well, it's going to peak in the spring. And then they tried to say, we've turned the corner. But I tell you, if you go to the grocery store, you ain't turned the corner on what's coming. I mean, it's just... So this is a, a crisis of their own creation. And what is their answer to try to give relief to people in the United States? They pass a piece of legislation called the Inflation Reduction Act. Doesn't reduce inflation. Actually imposes taxes on traditional forms of energy. But one of the things that it did was it created 87,000 new IRS agents to audit middle-class Americans. You know, they're not going to be audi auditing the Davos set on this, trust me. They are going to be auditing middle-class Americans. That's what's going to happen. So, uh, so they do that, and I'm thinking to myself, why aren't we doing 87,000 Border Patrol agents? I mean, come on. But you see what they're, they're, they're producing this slop up in Washington. You people like Nancy Pelosi, who, by the way, you want to talk about putting a tired donkey out to pasture, you can get that done very soon. So, but here's the thing. You see people like Pelosi, and what it shows me, I mean, she's been doing this for so long, we need term limits for members of Congress. Come on. So it's been a total disaster how they've mangled uh, the economy. Look, Florida, we're, uh, we're doing our best to, to get beyond it, but obviously the inflation's tough. So we said, okay, what do we do? We don't control the Fed. We don't control the purse strings up there. What do we do to maybe give people relief? And so what we're going to do uh, next year is we're going to do the largest tax relief package in Florida history. I actually just passed the largest. This is going to be probably twice that size. And we're going to do... What we're trying to do is just lessen the burden of Biden inflation on, on everyday Floridians. And so one of the things that my wife and I have been sensitive to, we have a five, a four, and a two-year-old running around at the governor's mansion. And we actually, when we be, first got in, it was a two-year-old and a nine-month-old, our third, it wasn't even here yet. And so we know, like, 
I remember the sticker shock on like a stroller or a crib or some of this stuff and how much diapers you got to buy and all these different things. So what we're going to do in the state of Florida is we're going to say things you need for raising a baby is going to be no tax. Strollers, cribs, none of that stuff. No tax. Now our third is basically out of diapers now, so we're not we aren't going to necessarily benefit, but I hope some of you will be able to benefit. So we're going to do that. And we're also going to do, because we want to be family friendly, you know, we're going to throw pet food in, no tax on pet food, too. I mean, these are things you, get, you, can't, you can't go without. Uh, so we're going to do that. We're going to do, um, we're going to reduce for our commuters. We're going to reduce tolls by 50% across the board. Every toll facility in Florida, we're going to reduce, uh, which is going to be really, really good. So we're, we think it'll make a difference, and we're excited about being able to do that. 